Hey everybody, welcome back to Battle Ready Inc. So today for you, we've got the dreaded deck of any format. We're covering SetCon, security control, probably one of my favorite decks to play, sadly. Um, recovering, and yeah, the security bombs are great, but besides that, it's mostly just, I enjoyed the longevity of it. So yeah, the recovery is nice, but also the board control as well. Like if you could omit the security bombs, then maybe it wouldn't be so dreaded. Um, but either way, this is how we play it. And it's a, it's a blast for me. So if you're here and I hope you're, you like SetCon, if you're here and you hate SetCon, I don't understand why you clicked the video. Uh, I'm just going to say it right there. Uh, I've got two different decks to actually show off. Uh, one of them will be a little bit more in-depth than the other because there's a lot of uh, overlay in cards, but I will go ahead and show both of those to you. Also, don't forget to check out our Etsy page. Link in the description below. There, if there's a memory marker you're looking for, we probably got something that will be absolutely perfect for the deck you're playing, as well as we've got some really cool other Digimon merch as well. Uh, everything on there is all handmade by my wife, so uh, very cool stuff. Make sure you go check out our Etsy page. All right, so what I've got here is my original uh, super safe build of SetCon. Uh, nothing too outlandish or too spicy, just really straightforward, classic uh, security control stuff. Lots of recovery, uh, lots of security bombs. Uh, we've got the shorts in there for the nice wide board removal to help deal with stuff like Commandermon. Um, but then the other build that I have is this one here which was something a little bit more spicy. We've got the Shine Greymon Ruin Mode in there to go on top of our level six there. Uh, also a great card to deal with um, D Brigade and all the Commander Wand stuff, just that nice big blanket, uh, negative 5,000 or even better, a negative 10,000, very strong stuff. As well as you'll see, we've got the new Patamon in there. And really, I, I wanna work this Patamon in here just because if nothing else, even if you don't Evo into the Rapid Mon, just getting that security knowledge, just at the start of main phase, I just get a look at my security and see what's in there. What do we got to work with? You know, do we got any good bombs in there? Should I, can I depend on my security? Can I lean on it a little bit to get me out of some trouble? Uh, or can I not? Do I need to go ham on recovery as much as possible and get something in there that can help me out? Or do I need to just go super aggro into my opponent because I know there is nothing in my security that is going to stop whatever they're doing? Um, that Patamon knowledge is really, really great. So those are going to be the two ones that we are going to talk about uh, today. Now I am going to switch back to the um, web version though. So we're going to go over this one first just because uh, it's nice to have everything right here and available. So of course we've got that Upam Upam on there for that draw power when you're at three or less, as well as the Salamon for that on deletion recovery if you're at three or less. Basically when you're at three, that's when you just start swinging wildly with your Salamons and getting checks and draws and recoveries. You know, very, very classic set con stuff there. The tons of recovery is always nice just so that way we can, you know, set up a nice, powerful, um, devastating security checks for our opponent. Of course, we got the classic Magna Angemon here, that seven play cost, recovery one. Just a real nice, just to go into this 6,000 DP. So combos really nicely with our Flame Hell Scythe. Uh, we can also bring uh, Salomon back there as well, but we'll get there when we, we talk about Flame Hell Scythe some more. Uh, we've got the new Magna Angemon here, very powerful card, four play cost, overflow of three is okay because basically this evens right back out into the other Magna Angemon, so not too bad there, as well as we can get that DP minus for 1k for every security card we have. Now the recovery is limited to only five or less, so if you're at six or more, then no recovery, so keep that in mind. Um, unfortunately, we lose out on the counter uh, ability in this build, which is one of the reasons I do like the other one, that's the spicier one, because it's got the Rapid Mons, so there is potential Magnamon counterplay in that version of the deck. Um, but then we've got the new Seraphimon. I think this is pretty much a, a staple for 
uh, set con decks moving forward for quite some time is going to be that wind evolving recovery like normal Seraphimon uh, effects there. That's pretty standard. But then all turns once per turn when a card is added to your security stack, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 7,000 DP and this Digimon gains security attack plus one for the turn. So a uh, nice little control card there. Really cool. Uh, if you're fortunate enough to somehow trigger this during your opponent's turn, that's really powerful. Um, a, a little bit more difficult in this version of the build. Um, there are other stuff that you can do out there. Like Holy Wave can, of course, trigger and, and recover during your opponent's turn. Um, but that's about it that we have in this uh in this particular build, um, but still really powerful, like effect and vaccines, because they have you know stuff like TK and things like that that'll trigger on play. Uh, and then Shadow Seraphi, we're still working this in. Um, a, a flex spot, you could put in something like Venusmon instead. Uh, Venusmon being a very, very powerful card. And, you know, you can turn off stuff like the War Greymon decks really nicely with her because they're always going to have security attack plus or minus on those guys just pretty much constantly so they can basically never attack into venus mon so she's always safe and they'll never get their win attacking or win digivolving effects and that's also super super important for dealing with those um Greymon decks, particularly the Red War Greymon. Um, but Shadow Seraphi here, opponent's turn when a card is removed from your security stack, D Digivolve 1. Uh, one of your opponent's Digimon. Uh, and also, keep in mind, this isn't once per turn. So if they go in for multiple checks, that's just D Digivolve after D Digivolve after D Digivolve. Uh, the chances of them surviving if they have a lot of security checks is pretty slim at a, at a certain point. So very, very powerful effect there. Uh, and then on deletion recover 1. Um, and then one of your opponent's uh, Digimon gets minus 4,000 DP for the turn for each card in your security stack. So a uh, very powerful effect here. So whatever kind of combinations you could do. And the one Evo cost on top of our other Seraphimon. Very powerful Megas. Absolutely crushing. I I've got two Karis in here in this version of the build. It's our memory setter as well as when we gain a security, we can tap her to uh, gain one memory, um, particularly something like uh, our Seraphimon that's a four Evo cost, but we recover so we can make him a pseudo three. Uh, and with the Kari here, it'll still be our turn. So she combos really nicely uh, with that. Breaking our uh, Magna Angemons down, either this one to keep it on our turn or this one to put our opponent at three. If they have a memory uh, fixer, then they're going to be you know, it's going to, you're going to go from three and they're going to go straight to three and there's no going to be no extra bleed over of memory. So I just find her super, super efficient, um, as well as, um, uh, of course, some of our option cards here going to then keep the play cost on them down a little bit. Uh, next we've got four of the, uh, BT four cards, the purple ones. When a card is removed from your security stack, you may suspend this tamer to gain one memory. Uh, this is all turns by the way. So if you activate this during your turn, um, say something, uh, I don't really have any good ones on this one, but particularly in vaccines, uh, if you were, to do the Patamon and you Evo out of uh, raising area with the Patamon, you could then trigger this to just plus memory for free during your own turn. Um, but it's mainly there for the counterplay to deal with our opponent. When our opponent checks us, especially if they're trying to nickel and dime us, like with D Brigade, for example, uh, if I've got you know multiple Karis out, four Karis, whatever, um, then I can suspend all those and pass it back. As soon as they do one check, one check, my turn again. You know, then all right, I pass it back to you. One check, all right, my turn again. So that's how powerful the, the Karis are. So I absolutely want to run these at a four of. Like, there's, there's like no contest. If I'm playing this, uh, if I'm playing Setcon, I want four purple Karis. If I'm building, a, of course, a purple variant. If I'm doing like a yellow red variant, then maybe I yeah, don't run those Karis. Um, but. If I'm running a purple variant, absolutely, she's a four of. Uh, we've got the Mimi here, just that a three of. She's just here to help facilitate our option cards. Uh, a little bit easier just to give us another purple target in the deck to help that we can lean on to rely for us to be able to activate our purple options, yellow purple options from hand uh, in case we can't get into our Karis. As well as she makes, you know, uh, all these way more efficient, as well as makes our opponents very inefficient. So if your opponent is trying to, you know, do certain options to, um, you know, such as like Hammer Spark, just as an example, basically Mimi is going to make all those cards uh, unusable. 
So she's really cool. Uh, Holy Wave, just for that added recovery. It also triggers the security, which is always, always nice, just to help prolong games out for us a little bit here. Uh, Flame Hell Size, still a very powerful removal card, depending on the format. Uh, there's a lot of protection effects going around right now. Like, just again, thinking about Commandermon, that, you know, it can't be. Uh, deleted by your opponent's effects it has that new omni protection from those two new inheritables that they got um, but that doesn't protect against minus dp so this is going to be a great way to deal with those kind of cards um that are trying to you know get in on you i'm just thinking something like high commander mon it's only a 4k um so you can flame hell scythe it pretty easily even if it did evo on top of that new protection um commander mon and then you get to play out a 6,000 DP or less uh, purple or yellow Digimon. So, unfortunately, the new Magna Angemon, they were very, uh, you know, smart in making it 8,000 DP. Um, so, we can't play that one out. But we can, of course, play the original as well as the Salomon as well to get her on deletion recovery again. So... Uh, still some great targets here as well as just a great card uh, for chaos deg this is just one of the most powerful removals in the game um, there there is more and more omni protection going around um, I say omni protection that is just a general turn um, for omni as in all encompassing protection effects uh, such as the, again the new commander mon inheritable and high commander mon inheritable um, but this is gonna be great for stuff you know like your gray mon decks black red whatever um, just being able to remove those bodies off, um, as well as I expect to see more Garurumon coming in uh, with EX5 here soon. So I think this will be a mainstay pretty much forever until there's a better removal. Super strong. Uh, Lone Key is, of course, though, um, very much like right on the, the heels of Chaos Egg. Same play cost um, here. You're not going to be able to get the... Uh, um, the other that main effect the pulse mon this but that's okay because we got plenty of yellow here uh if you have three or more security one of your opponent's digimon gets minus twelve thousand dp for the turn if you have three or fewer security cards place one of your opponent's digimon face down on top of their security stack again dodging those uh really pesky um, protection effects there uh, with DP minus as well as putting uh, face down on top of security. If you're at the perfect middle ground of three security, you get both effects. But keep in mind, you have to do the DP minus first and the other one second because that's how they word it on the card there is you have to do it in order and as much as possible. So be careful when uh, using a card like this when you're at that perfect three security. Um, but yeah. Lunky, very, very popular card. Very, very good card. Uh, I'm still running Schwartz here. I think this card is amazing. I have been in love with this card ever since BT7. It's like one of my favorite wide board removal cards. Uh, for each Digimon of Hybrid and its traits uh, and each Tamer you have in play, delete one of your opponent's level 5 or lower Digimon. Uh, in a setcon deck where you're going to have an easy 3 to 4 Tamers out there at, at any given time, uh, that's, a, that's a solid board removal card. 6 play cost here to wipe out, you know, most of my opponent's Digimon, you know, everything but their Megas. Yeah, I love this card. So good. Super underrated. I don't understand why people don't like this. Like, if we're running yellow, purple, Setcon, what do you run for your wide board removal? Like, how do you handle uh, Commandermon, you know? Uh, you you got to have the out to those huge boards that they can put up. You know the boards I'm talking about. Like, they go uh, Brigadermon, you know, they can play out a... Um, one level sixes and the level sixes will then play out, uh, you know, the level fours and it, you know, it just gets out of control. So crazy. Um, so you gotta be really careful with that. So having a way to deal with all that level five included, I think that's super important. Um, being able to clear the level fives as well. Uh, of course we got the run reinforce memory boost. This card's set to one, so we can only run one of it. If we could, we'd run more. Uh, it's just as good as Holy Wave, but you get to reveal two. So you get to pick the card you want in hand and pick the card you want to put in security, as well as you give the opponent the knowledge, so that could be either a drawback or an advantage. Uh, they either know that it's a dud in security and they're safe to swing into it, or they know it's a bomb and they've got to figure out how to play around it. Uh, you know, you put a Chaos Deg in there while their Mega is sitting on field, yeah, they're going to start to question how they're going to deal with your security at that point. Um, and that delay gain three memory is just absolutely massive. I've got three Death X in this build. I know, crazy. Three Death X is a little absurd, especially with its price going ever up again. Um, but this is like a fantastic way to deal with D-Brigade. I know I've set up bringing up D-Brigade a lot in this, but I think it's it's super, super good. And I, and I respect it for sure, as well as Bloom. You know, these wide board decks are uh, a threat. 
um, and dealing in even with other decks as well, such as, you know, like Galgamon, you know, they play a lot of tamers as well. Uh, you look at like Hunters. Hunters is a pretty uh, popular deck. You never know if you're going to have to deal a Crossheart. You know, that could always be a threat as well. So I think Death X is pretty much in all my decks at this point. Um, no matter what the color is, I'm throwing Death X in pretty much everything right now. Uh, at least two, not three. Three is a little, uh, you know aggressive there in the in the counter i don't even own three death x uh I'm, i usually get away with uh playing two so this is my super safe build um sped through it a little bit there but then this is going to be my alternate build here that i'm kind of you know playing around with and seeing what we can do we did just drop the schwartz by one down to a two um and the death x we dropped down from a three to a two as well so that way we could incorporate two ruin modes here just that when digivolving and then that on deletion that minus 5k to the opponent's field um he's going to basically help us deal with the same threats that these other two cards were going to help us deal with um plus more because he you know he's also going to get that uh, uh his end of attack effect there where you get a he deletes himself recovers uh deletes one of the opponent's digimon um, so really, really strong card here. Uh, the opponent sees this hit the field, and then they got to start trying to plan around it, how they're going to deal with it, because uh, they, they don't really want to trigger a whole lot of its effects. So, um, yeah, went ahead and wanted to work in two of these. And then sliding over here, um, we changed up a little bit here. Again, we put the Patamons in here, and then we incorporated the Rapidmon into the deck there. Um, that wind digivolving, that minus 5k, you know, you can do suspend up to the, what, three tamers and do, um, you know, that DP minus as well. Super strong, rec like, removal card here, as well as that armor purge is nice as well. So we're getting multiple different, like, values out of this single rapid mon of just, you can't kill my Digimon. You you can, you know, run it over, and it's just going to armor purge, and I get my Padamon back, and I get to use my Padamon's, you know, start a main phase again. I get to look at my security stack for free. Like, cool. I don't mind that at all. Um, as well as uh, you can set up the counterplay with the Magna Angemon. So they swing in, you you know, blast Evo with Magna Anja, recover, and then DP minus whatever they're trying to swing with. Uh, in theory, you want to do something that you know will die. E either you're going to DP minus it to zero, or they're swinging into the rapid and you DP minus it enough so that way the Magna Angemon's 8K is bigger, and then they die to that out of nowhere that they did not expect very powerful plays there so um i do love that uh and if they d uh, uh dcd bomb you then they're gonna you know d digivolve your magna off of there yeah they're gonna gain three memory back but boom you're right back into your armor purge and then that bomb goes off and it doesn't even kill your digimon the patamon's still sitting there so they still have to deal with it um yeah they did that basically for one memory but you know what? That's uh, that's one card, one threatening card that you know you were able to dodge that they couldn't use on something else that's like way more important that you don't want them to D -dig evolve. Um, so that's just a, a little bit of an alternate build there. What did we drop for the Rapid Mon? Oh, we dropped the Mimis. That's what it was. We dropped the Mimis because essentially the Karis is the important part. Um, of this and then dropping the Schwartz down. So we've got less purple targets in here. We want the Chaos Degs and Flame Hell Size to be in security. Um, so we're trying to recover those in there anyways. So dropping the Kari, the, the down to only Kari being our purple target, um, I still think it's okay because we still have other things that can handle threats like Lone Key uh, as well as our Megas and things like that. So if we can't quite get into a Kari fast enough, I think we'll still be okay. Uh, we have tons of recovery as well as we have the control from the rapid mon so rapid mon during our own turn can d -dig especially evoing for free into rapid mon off the paddle mon effect because he is a vaccine type uh and then you dp uh, minus 5k and then you swing and then he's sitting there at 6,000. so basically anything 11,000 or less that's suspended he's going to be able to handle them uh, either crash into them in armor purge or just swing over them flat out so minus 5k very strong um we we see a lot of minus 5ks going on around here minus 6k minus 5k minus 5k uh yeah i mean that's set con for you though it's super control super you know difficult to to deal with very frustrating for opponents uh it's i think it's pretty straightforward i think it's just knowing when to use which pieces at a time because a lot of times you only ever get to use one card per turn people talk about you know it's 
set con slow playing. Uh, I, I have seen set con players slow play, which is really, really annoying. I'm like, we, we play one card a turn, people. Come on. Like, what are you, what are you really going to... How, how far do you think you're going to really slow play this out? Like, just get over it. You, just deck them out. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're better off decking them out than trying to slow play them. So... Um, yeah, that's just how it is, though. I li but I like this new Seraphim one. I can get a little bit more aggressive now, and uh, and I feel really good about it. That security tank plus one, uh, and then if you go into like Shadow Seraphim one, then you're gonna have that nice on deletion effect as well. So that is uh, a pretty good there. Um, Keep in mind also that this uh, all turns when a card is added to your security stack, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 7,000 DP for the turn, and this Digimon gains security attack plus one for the turn. So if you have the extra memory, then afterwards you can go into the Shadow Seraphimon for one if it's still on your turn, and then you can swing into security, uh, and then if you do hit into any bombs, you have that on deletion effect of the recover and the minus 4k. Because if he's going to die, then he was going to die anyways. So it might as well get some good value out of it with a on deletion effect of that recovery in that uh, big minus DP bomb there. So um, really, really good combos with these guys. Uh, absolutely loving this deck. I'm always a big fan of Setcon. Uh, I know a lot of people hate it, but... I don't know. It's just my jam. If you made it this far in the video, please like it uh, and subscribe. We're trying to get to that 5K before Nats hits here. Uh, if you're uh, if you're thinking about playing Setcon or you're a Setcon main or something like that, definitely leave in the comments what you think. Um, you know, this is always on the table for me to play at any given time, even at Nats. So always, always thinking, always planning ahead with this.